I am still Serenity. Um, I'm from Lincoln North Star. Sea I'm sadly still a senior. And this is a tale as old as time. Flesh and blood blossoms. Some of us barely hanging on. My family, we are roses. Preserved in a glass case, there is no beauty without the beast inside acknowledged. Our story is well known. My mother is the beauty, innocent and out of control. She is the beast, unable to control her present, enough to leave her future alone. So beast put beauty away, the pause she thinks she deserves. I'm supposed to write about someone I know, but I know, not, but I know you only in the scar tissue words you engraved in my mother's memory still. She likes to think the best of you, like you're watching over us, but you're haunting her at night. Thick palm sweat, salty on her pillowcase. Some night she can see you again, standing over her silent. Words aren't needed for dominance. Some night she can feel your rough grip again. You know, she hasn't been able to breathe right since you broke her nose. It's the little things you took, like stopping to smell the roses. She could no longer breathe me in deeply. Most nights I stay up to make sure she's still breathing. She wakes up from dreams of the past, wondering why you never say anything. You were 23 when you died. That was not enough time for you to tell me hello. I love you. I'm proud. You're my daughter. I was spoon-fed a mixture of my mother's worst nightmare and the absence of a father. I use the term passed away on everyone but you. No, you died. Impersonal, like our relationship. Are you here now? To see my steps over these stages, to hear this poem, to see me looking in the audience at my proud mother, to see me cry at the thought of you not being here, to see me cringe at the thought of you being here, or you're here to know I won't save you a seat. I don't need you haunting my future any more than you do. Are you here to tell me why I can't keep you out of my poems? How you built a home and my stance is like you deserve to be there. How you think you deserve to be there when you never home in the first place. Are you here to tell me why you thought my childhood was a perpetual game of peekaboo? Yeah, I'm still waiting for you to pop up somewhere. Like at my front door, in my shadows, in my dreams, or in the mirror. I'll keep my eyes covered so you can't get me, but now I can't see anything beyond your blood running through the veins of my hands. Beyond the cracked walls of our old house, beyond these roses blooming amongst the rubble of our lives, I'm supposed to write about someone I know but I know nothing of your sweet fragrance. I only know this bed of thorns we grow out of because believe it or not, we are growing out of this. This plot of cracked soil, this forest of vines, this garden of damaged roses. There is beauty in her gnarled roots, in her falling petals. There is beauty in our wilting leaves, in our broken stems. There is beauty in our story in the simple fact that winter turns to spring and we rise again. Thank you.